Professor Bill McGuire, one of the UK's foremost volcanologists, said, you will start to see earthquake swarms as fresh magma moves into the system and breaks the rock above it and begins to rise upwards, this earthquake will produce a typical waveform on a seismograph. Rock cracks create a waveform that begins with a sharp rise and fades rapidly, long before the eruption, the danger zone, and its surroundings will be hit by this earthquake. Just before the eruption, this earthquake will give a new signal of long and continuous vibrations. Professor McGuire explains, now when magma opens up a space for itself, it will start moving through it pretty quickly, it will vibrate the walls of the crack or channel, and it will give you a rumbling signal, vibrations that sound like large organ pipes are called harmonic vibrations. This is the last warning before an eruption, for anyone brave or stupid enough to stay in the danger zone, the chances of escape will be slim. A big bang is coming soon, the eruption itself would no doubt have been enormous, but paled in comparison to the ensuing pyroclastic flows, often dubbed the wall of death that engulfed the ancient Roman city of Pompeii. Analysis of earthquake data at Yellowstone in 2013 found that the magma chamber was 80 meters, 50 miles, long and 20 kilometers, 12 miles, wide. It also has an underground volume estimated at 4,000 cubic kilometers, two and a half times larger than previously imagined. However, the analysis also said the proportion of molten rock in the chamber was too low to allow another supereruption to occur, this was refuted by research from Arizona State University in 2017, which showed Yellowstone's magma reservoir could undergo rapid change by supervolcano standards and could reach eruptive capacity within decades.